Hey guys, so today, sorry for this weird little hair that's acting funny, but today I wanted to talk about some phlebotomy related things because you guys have asked me a few questions and so I thought that today would be a as good a day as any to answer your questions. Um, this isn't something that is super information intensive, but I figured I would answer it anyway. And it has to do with tubes. Now I have a few different colors of tubes. Some of them are the same, um, but there are tubes of different additives. Um, some tubes are different, but have the same additives in them. And so I wanted to kind of go over that with you guys. Um, so the question was, how do you know what additives are in which tubes? Now you will learn this when you go through your training. So as you're going through training, you're going to learn which color tubes have what additives in them. Um, that's one of the main things that you need to learn. Um, along with the order of draw is what additives go to what tubes and what tubes um, go to which area of the lab for processing. So this right here is your sodium citrate. Um, so this right here is actually going to be the same as this, believe it or not. So you can kind of see it looks the same, but this tube obviously has a clear topper over the blue, the light blue. Um, so that can be a little bit confusing. Now, how would you figure out that it has the same? There's actually, I don't know how well you can see that, but on the label, it will tell you exactly what additive is in this tube. So for example, this says sodium citrate. This one says sodium citrate. So this one says that it is a serum separator tube. And then you have this one that says it has PST gel and lithium heparin. And then you have this one that says it has K2 EDTA. And then you have this one that says it has K2 EDTA 3.6 milligrams. So this is the difference between these two because they're obviously the same additive. It says K2 EDTA. This one says 7.2 milligrams, whereas this one says 3.6 milligrams. So that's the only difference between these two. Um, so it is really that simple. Now, as far as order of draw and things like that, um, you will learn that in your class also. So you will learn like when to draw which tube, um, blood cultures will always be first, and then your sodium citrate tubes will come next. Um, so you'll, you'll get an idea, you will know it by the time that you become certified as a phlebotomist. Um, so don't get too overwhelmed before you even get into the field. Just know that if you ever get confused about what additive is in something, just look on the label. It's there, um, for example. Like, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but it is right there. It does say serum separator tube. Um, like, it's not focusing because it's focused on my face, but it does say serum separator tube. Well, it says SST, which SST is serum separator tube. And this says sodium citrate. Um, but it's really that simple. This doesn't need like a super long explanation, but I wanted to answer that for you because um, I do think that you guys should know this. Um, try not to overthink things when you are dealing with phlebotomy related things. It is a lot more simple than you give it credit for. It can be a very intimidating subject to learn, believe me. Um, I became very intimidated when I was first learning phlebotomy, but don't allow yourself to become too overwhelmed. Take it one step at a time, work on one thing at a time, 
memorize the information one step at a time. If it helps to learn, you know, the order of draw as far as like learning what tubes go to which departments first, do it that way. Whatever works for you, you have to figure out what works for you and do it that way. Um, and I can talk to you more about that. Um, I can tell you how we learned it in class, if that would help you. Um, so yeah, that's how you know what additives are in which tubes. If I can give you more information or if you have more questions about the tubes um, or about phlebotomy in general, let me know. I'd be glad to talk more about phlebotomy, um, seeing as this is my new journey in life. And with that being said, that's all I have for this video. I hope this was helpful. I hope this answered your question to the person who asked it. And I will see you guys again in a couple days.